What's up, sisterhood? It is Kristen and Bethany. <laughs> we want to meet you in person. I want to see your beautiful face. It's and you know true. what? It's been a long time since we've been able to see each other's beautiful yeah. faces because things have been shut down, but they are opening back up and we are having the 2021 Girl Woo! Defined Conference in San Antonio, Texas, July 30th and 31st. And we want to meet you there in person. It is like the ultimate gathering of the sisterhood from sisterhood all bash. around the world. It is epic. We have a simulcast version if you want to gather around the world, but you can't make it yes. to Texas. But if you're like, I want to see people, I want to meet new friends, I want to have that in-person fellowship, that in-person yes. worship, those in-person breakout sessions, those in-person late night parties with maybe some ice cream, I don't know, then you're going to want to join us in San Antonio, Texas and grab your tickets ASAP because it's almost here. Oh like God. summer is it's here. Weeks. What? Summer is here. So go to girldefined.com slash conference to watch our really unique and awesome oh. trailer video for the conference. It's like the coolest one we've ever done. It's anything just go watch that and then you'll be really inspired yeah. i promise and then you'll want to grab tickets and join us we cannot wait to see your beautiful faces in just a few months okay oh my goodness but yeah. you know what that's what, one of the things i love is the conference because we do talk about how to be a girl who is like grounded in god's word and one of the things that we yeah. hear from a lot of young women is that they are they feel so confused like they grow totally. up in the church they hear like okay god has the plan and purpose for my design as a girl for my like journey um into womanhood but I feel so conflicted because I'm hearing these messages at school. Yeah. I'm seeing these things that everyone says you have to stand for or you're not politically correct. Yeah. You're on the wrong side of history. But I just, I'm so, I'm so confused yeah. and I don't know how to live a life that honors God, but like doesn't just like cause me to become an outcast from everyone else in the whole world. And so you yeah. feel timid and you feel insecure and you feel like ashamed yeah. and almost like you just want to stay quiet. You don't want to say too much on social media. You don't oh want to rock goodness, the boat. Yeah. You don't want people to think you're weird. And so you end up becoming honestly like very, like what's the opposite? A chameleon you or no not a chameleon <laughs> what is like where you just kind of you kind of blend in and but deep inside you want more yeah right you're like i know i should be doing more as a christian woman i know god is calling me to stand for more to live for more to follow him in yeah. a deeper way but i just i just don't know what to do and so then you just don't do anything yeah and you just kind of stay stuck for a long time right or i would say you don't really not do anything. I think the majority end up going with the flow. And well, the I'm saying you don't flow. intentionally pursue yeah, anything. True. So then yeah. what happens? Yeah, you go with the flow. And it kind of, you know, reminds me of like when we were kids, we used to live at a like water park and <laughs> we didn't live there, but like we went there all the time, <laughs> every single house. summer. And there was one of those amazing like round loopy, like where you Oh, like a lazy two, river. A lazy, like a lazy river. river. And so I remember sometimes like we'd get separated from the group and one of us would end up like, you know, farther ahead. And so we'd want to turn around and swim and get back to the, where all of the other siblings were the friends or whatever and so you'd be swimming against the flow of where the water was naturally going and all and the tubes hard. and people coming and at so you all the people and you're swimming and we're like fighting to get back there and it took so much effort so much an intentional focus like oh i want to get back there that's what i'm focused on mm -hmm. this is where i'm going but it was hard it wasn't easy and we'd often end up like give me the tube and then like <laughs> sit down like oh exhausted and that sounds a little bit discouraging, but that's kind of how it is in our modern day. Like if you don't have your eyes on where you want to go and focused on like, okay, this is the direction I want to pursue. This is what I'm after. Then that flow with all those tubes and floating alligators and floating like big snakes, you know, it's coming after you and it's going and everyone's going in a certain direction and you really get swept up with the flow and you just kind of end up like, well, I guess this mm -hmm. is where we're going now and this is what we're doing. And uh, okay, I don't even really know why I should swim against the cultural flow. So, okay, here yeah. we go. Um, and so doing nothing is automatically, like doing nothing to pursue God's word and his design, yeah. you will automatically go with the flow because yeah. the current is strong. It's so strong. And people are going to wonder, were we swimming with alligators and snakes? Or <laughs> No, you know, like those floating things. And the, they're, they're like, like lazy floating river, toys you know? that look like alligators But and it's kind of a good analogy because, you It know? is true. Yeah, if you don't do something intentional to pursue God's design, you will get swept up in the flow. And another way to think about it is like a bullseye, right? Like imagine a target. I mean, you could even think of the store, like imagine the bullseye. And if you're just a haphazard like yeah oh I hope I can hit the target like I hope I can hit the bullseye for God's design for my life I just hope it happens do you think you will ever hit the bullseye like wishful thinking like hope yeah it will just like no 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 I go to church like I want to be a girl defined by God I want to live for God like I'm all in but you're not doing anything yeah. to really pursue the truth to understand God's design to dig in for yourself then that bullseye is going to be there but you're never going to hit it you're yeah. just going to be hidden everything else in order to hit the bullseye of God's word, of God's truth, of God's design for our lives as women. You yeah. have to aim at it. You have to practice. You have to be intentional. You have to put effort and energy and you have to yes. grow and learn. And then you'll start to see, oh, that's what God says. Yeah. That's what God calls me to. That's how he calls me to live. That's what truth is. That's where my identity comes from. Okay. And then 
for the yeah. first time you start actually hitting the bullseye. Totally. And you know, truth is what sets us free. And so the more that we are intentional to know God, to be in his word, to chase after his truth, truly that's when we will be most free. So you may think like, oh, well, you know, the world kind of talks about being so free and like, this is what it's all about. But really you will be most empowered and strengthened and yeah. bolden when you are living for Christ because God is our designer and he is the one who ultimately made us. He created us. I mean, just go back to Genesis. If you haven't read that in a while, go to Genesis one and two and you'll be reminded wow, God is my designer. He is the one who created me specifically as a woman. So doesn't it make sense that I would go to him to learn about why I'm here, yeah. what what I should be living for? That's why God's word and having a relationship with Christ is our bullseye. But we get it. It's really hard. And sometimes yeah. it can feel confusing. Like, okay, I'm in God's word, but I'm not exactly mm -hmm. understanding how to live out his design in this modern day. Like, can I get some more help? Mm -hmm. And yes, you can. That's totally possible. That's what the two of us have done. And it's really what's given us so much yeah. confidence to follow Christ and to go count, live counterculturally because we've learned from other godly women. So today we want to share some of those resources with you to help really strengthen you and really give you that courage to know what you're aiming at and what you should be living yeah. for. And this is going to help you to start swim against the cultural flow, right? Like you're going to start swimming. We want you to be so intentional. So a few resources that we have to mention, because truly, if we had had these books when we were your age, they would have been life changing. They're behind me. Hidden. It's like a secret, like, you know, like a show, like a game show. Like dun, 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 dun. Okay. The first one is Girl Defined. Yeah. We wrote this book to help you understand God's radical design for beauty femininity and identity. And you know what? We wrote this book, I don't know what, six years ago. And some of the topics, well, we, we wrote it obviously based off of God's word. What is God's design? Trying to unpack it for you in an easy to understand, digestible way. But the things that we say truly are radical and have become more radical today than even yeah. when we wrote them because the, the culture has shifted so much in it's like popular opinion on things like manhood, womanhood, gender, yeah. identity, yeah. soul, like sexuality, so much has even shifted in the cultural narrative that this yeah. book even feels more radical than when we wrote it, but it is grounded and rooted in God's word, which is timeless. It never changes. The world will change the opinions, the direction, what's popular that will always change and ebb and flow, but God's word is timeless and that's what yeah. this is rooted in. So a great place to start in understanding God's design for your um, womanhood. <laughs> Thank you for, you handed it to me. Get the next one. Okay, so, and these aren't just like, hey, get our books. These are really, we wrote these out of a passion yeah. because this is what we wished we would have had and what we yeah. want to encourage and link arms with the sisterhood in. And I know there are a lot of places actually, like if you have, um, like if you download those library apps and I know they have them like all over the world. Mm -hmm. So look up like Libby. library apps, Libby, there are other My ones. Favorite. A lot of our books you can listen to for yeah. free. So I don't care if you have a friend you can borrow one from, like we don't want you to have to buy it, mm -hmm. but if you need to do that, but we just want you to get yeah. some direction, encouragement and guidance. So love to find embracing God's vision for lasting love and satisfying relationships is all things love, romance, dating guys. Um, you know, all the questions you have about anything <laughs> to do with dating and romance and love is going to be found in love defined. We wrote this just to really equip you with the tools needed to know, okay, is this guy someone I should be getting to know or not? Is this a good time for me to get into a relationship? How do I know if he's the one? What should I do when he actually speaks up and says, hey, you know, should I do the pursuing? All of those questions we unpack with our own personal stories, our own personal examples, and then point you to God's word. So all things love and romance, grab love to find. Okay, and I'm gonna speed it up here for the sake of time. So sex, purity, longings is another one, like swimming, talk about swimming against the cultural flow, aiming at God's bullseye. You will not do that just automatically. Like it is what you're hearing in society is the opposite of what oh, God's yeah. word tells us by like a million fold. I like how we always, I can't just be like million. twofold, tenfold, a million fold. Sex, pretty longings, uh, sex, pretty the longings of a girl's heart, <laughs> discovering God's design for sexuality. You were created as a sexual being. You are a sexual being. You have longings, you have desires. What does that mean? How do you embrace it rightly? How do you filter what you're hearing from culture through God's word? Yeah. God's word is very sex positive, but in a way that's gospel centered. <laughs> yes. That's not just about us, but a bigger vision of commitment and covenant and glorifying God. So this one, we get into wow. the nitty gritty. It is awesome. That was a power explanation. I'm very impressed. Okay, and our most recent Shine Bright, 60 Days to Becoming a Girl Defined by God. Really, we wrote this because so many of you, like I recently did a survey on Instagram while you were in your, you know, your leave, My time off. Your time off. And it was, I think like 85% of you said that you struggle to have a daily mm. quiet time. And the biggest reason you said is because you don't have a plan and you don't know what to do. And so 
Shine Bright, 60 Days to Becoming a Girl Defined by God. It's not God's word, but it points you to God's word. It's a tool, a plan to help you know what you can do during your quiet time. So every day you're going to open it up. There's going to be a passage of scripture at the top of the day. And then at the end of the day, you're going to have a digging deeper section where we encourage you to open up your Bible and dig into a passage of scripture, a prayer, just something to mm -hmm. help you get in the word. It really is like a 10 to 15 minute commitment, but this is going to be your tool to actually become a woman who knows God's word, who gets excited about God's word, who loves God's word. I would say this is a great starting place just yeah. to really come up with some structure to help you get into the word. So Shine Bright is another great resource. Okay, so outside of books, because there's like a million other books we could recommend to help you intentionally swim against the cultural current and swim toward God's design, I would say an amazing podcast. I love Well, the Girl Defined Show was one, <laughs> um, an amazing podcast, but Revive Our Hearts yeah. Ministries, the true womanhood that's like part of Revive Our Hearts. They have an incredible podcast. I mean, just go to reviveourhearts.com or search Revive Our Hearts wow. on whatever podcast platform you listen to the wow <laughs> because wow it I has thinking it's like revive our hearts has impacted us oh yeah so much like probably the top yes top, their top. devotional study like true womanhood 101 true woman true woman, true woman 101 to 102 201 yeah but literally seriously their podcast free they have an incredible yeah. blog tons of resources reviveourhearts.com it is an amazing way to grow specifically their yeah. ministry is like geared for women and for understanding sure. god's design in all aspects yeah. another one is set apart girl with leslie ludy so she first started out kind of focusing exclusively on like when you're a young woman but now she does stuff all the way up through motherhood marriage she just has incredible mm -hmm. resources she has the most beautiful magazine called the set apart girl magazine yes. so if you want to get like the digital Quarterly copy issues. or you can get the actual yes. physical copy i mean how encouraging to have the beautiful images this short devotionals questions interviews it's just amazing yeah. she also has a podcast the set apart girl podcast another amazing resource and like i said so much of what she does is just mm -hmm. free so you if you're like i need help i need direction if you just started listening to the revive our hearts podcast yeah. and the set apart girl podcast and of course the girl Define show um you are going to be so encouraged and i just think your minds are going to be like oh, i yeah. didn't know there were other people out there saying this stuff yes yes the last thing is well it is girl defined but it's the girl defined blog yeah because a lot of you like you know listening to a podcast you might love but sometimes you want to sit down and just dig into one topic and get some meat for that one little specific topic yeah. so we have hundreds and hundreds of posts that we've written in the archive yeah. at girldefined.com um you just search in the search bar like any topic and you will get most yes. likely a post on that topic and that will help you dig into specific things that are probably more tailored for your age group yeah. exactly so it's all free amazing resources but in closing really our passion and prayer for you is that you would not be a girl a woman who just drifts through life yeah. who just goes with the cultural narrative who just goes with the flow who misses the bullseye even though you're going to church and you're saying like i want to follow god but you're not really doing anything yes. intentional to swim against the flow to aim at that bullseye we are praying that you would take this yes. as your exhortation encouragement challenge to say I you know in one year I want to be a different woman I want to be a woman who was rooted in the word who understands God's design who was confident who has a strong yes. backbone for God's truth and isn't afraid to stand alone in order to glorify God in this modern day and age that is our prayer for you and we would love to continue this conversation with you first of all in person at our conference July 30th and 31st girldefined.com slash conference but also over on our Instagram yeah. account so head on over to girl to Instagram at girldefined and we would love to continue talking oh, yeah. about biblical womanhood with you